All right, let me show you how we can beat the hateful really early on here. We are on Give Me God of War difficulty in Svartalfheim very early. And let me also show you all the gear I'm using. I think it's important to understand the build and the strategy we're gonna use so you can see how it's actually doable this early. So the ax is just level two, nothing crazy there. I've got the Furious Maul on it for a little bit of a strength boost. That's a very easy piece of gear to get early on. I do have a Ruinic equipped, but we're not gonna use it, so it doesn't really matter. The blades are just level one, and then I've got the Deadly Obsidian handles on there for another little bit of a strength boost. Those are another piece of gear that's easy to get early. Now the shield, I would personally choose to go with the Dauntless uh, if it was my choice, but it is a little bit trickier to parry. If you're good at parrying, that's gonna help you get through this more easily. But for this demo, we're just gonna go with the Stonewall level one, both because I think it's probably out of the two, the shield that most players pick at first at least, and it's a little bit simpler for people to use so it's just gonna be a little bit simpler and easier for this demo. On there, I've got the Rond of Aggravation. Again, easy to get early on, gives us a little bit of a defense and vitality boost. For armor, I'm just using Vidars at level two across the board, so nothing special there. It's pretty cheap to upgrade that to level two or honestly better by this point. So that's nothing special. The key to this though is gonna be a few specific skills. So one is Extinguish Flames on the Axe. What that's gonna let us do is get a damage boost when we use the Axe on enemies that are burning. So we need to get the Hateful burning first. The way we're gonna do that is with Scorch Sweeps. This is unlocked by default. So we're gonna use Flame Whip Lash as a bunch, and then we're gonna apply Burn Buildup with Scorch Sweep. Now, if you have Scorched Earth already, you should definitely use that because it builds up more burn more quickly. You definitely want to use that, but you can definitely do it with Scorch Sweep as well. It's just a little bit slower. If you're on a higher difficulty though, I would try and use it enough times to unlock the skill labors all the way up for this so that you can get the elemental token on it, which boosts the burn build up a little bit. That's definitely going to help you out on higher difficulties, but it's doable without it. And that's really all we need. All right, let's get started. So blades out right away and charge up a flame whiplash. We want to get it burning, remember. I'm gonna do a lot of single tap dodges like you saw just there instead of double tap rolls. And here's another one. And that's important because you really need to stay as close as you can to the hateful to get the damage in while it's burning. So we have it burning there. I'm doing some damage with the ax. Got a little bit greedy there. It's important to play pretty defensively with the hateful because she's so aggressive. So you might be in the middle of charging up a flame whiplash or you might be in the middle of dealing damage and it's always better to default to just pulling the shield out and giving up on trying to get that last little bit of damage in. Like right there, I kind of went for the shield instead of finishing up the charge on the flame whiplash. And you can see we've already got about two thirds of the health down. Again, the single tap dodge there instead of a double tap roll. And I'm really just focusing on the Hateful. The other two Draugr will actually die once you kill the Hateful. So it's best to try to just keep them in front of you. Don't let them get behind you. That's the important thing. And just keep focusing on the Hateful. The other two won't be too much trouble as long as you don't let them get behind you. Got some Rage built up so we can just finish it off that way. And that's it. So again, the really important thing here is always focusing on building up the burn state with the flame whiplashes. You pretty much always wanna keep the hateful burning as much as possible, and then getting damage in with the ax while she's burning. And also always being ready to pull out your shield, staying on the defensive, and keeping an eye out for those red ring attacks, and trying to focus on doing just a single tap dodge so that you can stay close to her to get damage in quickly. Now, that elemental damage boost strategy we used here is just one of the things I wish I'd known when I first started playing Ragnarok. I've got a bunch more tips like that in this video right here, so I'll see you over there in just a second.